Hey, I'm Alvaro Reyes, and it's the second video with Tomas Livas, my coach of speed reading. In this video, Tomas is going to talk about how to read a book in one hour. Let's go. Thank you. So, does that sound interesting? <laughs> I hope it does, uh, because if you do read a book in an hour, then imagine what happens if you read one book a day just by dedicating one hour, and after a month, you have already read 30 books. So if you help people, if you work with people, you can get so much more information and help them. If you want to work on yourself, improve something, for example, your dating life, imagine if you just read, in one month, you read all the books about pickup. All of them. I mean, how pretty cool is that, right? So the value here is to read them and use it. It's not only to read them, because if you just read 30 books in a month and you don't use it, of course, it's not that much use of it anyways. But uh, if you will apply this, you will achieve amazing, amazing results. And there's no way to go wrong here. If you do this, you will succeed. So how do you read a book in an hour or a couple of hours? That seems a bit strange. And most people, when they hear this, they just don't believe it. They're like, what? This guy must be crazy or something. Um, in reality, um, after I first learned this, I was in my mentor seminar in Lithuania. And after it, immediately I was reading five to eight books a day for five days. I was just waking up in the morning and reading until the evening all day, putting it all into mind maps on paper so that I can use them and uh, work with the information basically. So there's basically four steps that I use to teach others and that I use myself for speed reading. And in English, I call this process firm reading. So it's F-I-R-M. And these uh, four steps, they mean flip, so you flip through the book, inspect, so you find what's the most important, uh, read, you actually go for reading what's, what you want to learn more about, and then memorize is the last one, or remember, so that you actually put it into practice and that it stays here. So it's not only you read it and forget it, but you read it, you used it, and you got results. Yeah. So, for example, if you do books, a book on body language, how can you approach this? Well, uh, you will have a different approach than I will, or than any other person will. I've read like 20 books on body language, which is, you don't need to do that. Uh, you don't even need to read one, just relax and you know, that's, that's body language. Uh, but the interesting part about it is that when you read so many, then there's only very little new information when you grab a similar, old book, similar book. So the more you read about uh, popular psychology, these kind of things, the more you will find that you already kind of know and understand the, these principles and the more you will reaffirm them by taking action. So, once again, the four steps, let's get into them. And uh, the first step is you just want to flip through the book. So you have the book, you want to take a look at the top cover or the back cover, just see what's in it, see the basic structure of it, see the map. Because what's the use of the map? We don't need the map, we need the treasure, right? So by using the map, we can get the treasure. And in any book, basically there's some kind of treasure. If you feel like there's not, take another one. There's plenty of amazing, amazing books written. So the first step, we want to find out the map so we can find the treasure, if you will. Uh, so to do that, we just flip through the book, see what it's about, and then move on to the next step. The next step is inspect. Inspect meaning that we want to find out the information that we find the most interesting, the information that we really resonate with the most. And there's no point really reading something that you don't resonate with. From my own personal experience, when I first started, I was reading so many pop psychology books, but then when I read most of the stuff, then you kind of go into business, you know, maybe you read something about uh, tranquilidad, you know, <laughs> how to live happily, etc. So you kind of shift your priorities as you read more and more and more, and your life changes and you change as well for the better. Um, so first step, you want to flip through the book. Second step, find out what's the most important in the book. And you can do that by reading the uh, table of contents. You can do that by reading the introduction to the book and even by looking at some summaries. If there are summaries in the book, you want to read the summaries as well. Just flip through the summaries. Maybe you take a look at the headings, subheadings, what's in it, so that you kind of find, okay, what's the most interesting for me right now? And then if it's only one page, only read one page. There's plenty of books. You can even just go to a bookstore and read what you uh, find the most fascinating. What I like to do is just go to a place where you can grab a coffee and where you can grab a bunch of books. You have your coffee uh, for a few hours and you read like five or ten books and you put them all on paper. Great. Um, 
see and then the second method find out what's the most important the second step find out what's the most important for you and then the third method the third step is to actually read so it's not only we flip through the book because there's not much value out of it but we want to read it as well we want to uh, find what's the most important for us and then just go for it and to read uh, it's basically going to be more about that in the next video how to simply go through any text super fast and uh, the top speed readers in the world can finish the book in like half an hour and they answer all the questions about it. Uh, basically like 95% comprehension of what you read. So it's really, really impressive. And uh, just even after this video, what you can expect is one or two hours, you're going to be done with the book. Uh, so then the third step, reading. When you're reading, you actually want to be doing uh, a process that is called mind mapping. Mind mapping is simply this. This is the main idea. Let's just say this is pickup, right? Uh, so then out of this would come body language, vocal tonality, all those different kind of things. And when you expand them even more, then you will notice that um, you can go on and on and on. And if you do that, this is really the best trick for remembering anything. If you do this, you're going to remember the book for basically all of your life. And uh, so that's why I recommend it highly. And if you also want to practice and put it into use, that's a brilliant, brilliant tool. So if you'd like to learn more about mind mapping, there's the guy who founded it is Tony Buzan. So just Google mind mapping, Tony Buzan, you're going to find him. But in the third step then, we want to be doing mind mapping as we are reading. So we already found what's the most important for us. We already have noticed what really resonates with the most. And you can just skip most of the stuff. You don't need most of the stuff. If you read a book on body language, what are you going to learn there? Come on. <laughs> so maybe there's going to be one or two new ideas. Focus. Yes only focus for what's interesting and then when you read that immediately you put that down in the mind map you put it down on paper and then you're good basically it takes about one hour to do that you find out what's the most what's the structure of the book what's the most important in the book you read this and then the last fourth step is memorize or I like to say understand remember that's another way to put it so to do that, one of the first things that we've done before was mind mapping. Now the second thing that's also super helpful and super useful is to just look at the mind map one or two more times. So when you finish, you look at the mind map, then another time maybe before you go to bed, perhaps another time when you wake up, and you know that can be um, before or after sex, just to put it into context exactly. as incorrect. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but before you go to bed and when you wake up, and then the last thing that's also super useful and if you're also interested in exploring yourself your personality how you communicate it's very useful to actually record a video or an audio of the book so like a summary of the book and if you start uploading your summary somewhere you're probably going to be making money quite soon because most people are just not going to do that yeah. like you i don't know uh, 90 percent probably are not going to take this seriously but if you do take this seriously the, the results just follow there's no there's no other way around it so the last step to memorize, you can record a video or an audio recording, whether uploaded or maybe even share it with your friends or just see how you are on camera. That's interesting. Um, so these are the four steps. You flip through the book, you find out what's the most important, you read the things that you resonate with the most, and then you make sure you remember them as well. And really make sure that you do put them into practice. Because otherwise it's all just, you know, mental masturbation, it's all just mind stuff. And in this game, it's all about taking this knowledge, putting it into practice and using it. And that's how it becomes embodied, that's how it becomes us, that's how it becomes as if we were the author that has written it after we look at it now. And then finally, I just want to give the last little bit of tip. Uh, when you're reading, also be sure to use your finger. When you use your finger, just to guide through the lines when you're reading, it naturally makes you a fast reader. About 50% faster, you read just like that. Maybe 30% faster because you're just more focused. You're not regressing, not going back to reread, simply going and continuing. And another way then, another uh, important thing, I guess then, is to vary your reading speed. At certain points, go faster, certain points, go slower. Simply see uh, how much importance does it have to you. If you read Harry Potter, or maybe you can go faster. If you're reading something that's very, maybe that's not a Harry Potter audience, I don't know. Uh, so, but if you read different kinds of books, that's more technical. Maybe you're into IT, uh, law, then you have to read technical, technical material. Uh, so then you're going to slow down a little bit, of course. 
but still, you can practice and grow in, in different kinds of material. So simply practice going faster than you're used to, even though if the comprehension isn't that good in the beginning. So vary, use the different speeds, uh, read more books, start today. Say, okay, from today on, I'm going to just put one hour into it. I'm just inviting you. You may choose to do it or not, but I know that everyone who has done it has had amazing, amazing results. So start with your one book a day today. And uh, if you'd like to learn more, simply check out my YouTube channel here for more videos and more. Here, right there. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay, subscribe to Thomas Levi. Thank you. See you.